How's it going today guys? Welcome to Try It Out Adventures. My name is Rhys and welcome to today's unboxing. So first and foremost we are going to unbox the 300 watt solar system kit and then we'll get into some extras that I ordered from Renergy and some other suppliers for this particular electrical system. If you have not checked out any of my previous videos, I have already started my van build and you can go into my channel, subscribe, like, and you'll be able to also see the installation of these pieces of equipment. One thing about Renergy is, um, my first impressions are it's a great company. It is worldwide and they do have a hub here in Australia, so that makes it really easy for deliveries, but they have sent me this kit in like 12 different pieces. I don't know why they wouldn't just box it all up as one piece. Let's get started with the first package here. So, looks like we have just some wiring. This would be the connecting wiring so that I can link the three panels. Next up, we have, hmm, not too sure what this one is. Oh, nice, it is my inline fuse. So this is an ANL fuse, and that will be able to protect that system as a whole. I will, at the end of the video, throw up the electrical schematic I drew up for this particular build and you'll be able to see all the pieces and where they belong. So that is a very important piece. Next we have, oh, I know what this is. This is a straight line solar PV fuse. So this is a 10 amp fuse that will come off of the solar panels themselves before they enter into the van. And it feels like some more wiring here, nothing too exciting just yet. And this is just more wiring. Actually, this one may not be for, oh no, this is to connect to the batteries because it does have the uh, battery mains here. So that is what that is for. That must run from the MPPT charger straight to the battery. And these particular cables are to run in between the solar panels themselves. As you can see, they have the links here, the male and female plugs that are very easy to connect up. And one last cable here, not too sure what this one is. Oh, and that is the positive. Once again, I'm not too sure why Renergy doesn't just box all this together, but hey, I still got all the product. Or at least I hope so. These three boxes are all the same. I believe they are the brackets, as you can probably hear. And yep, here they are. So that is just the Renergy brackets. That will go straight onto the van themselves, just like that, with the solar panel sitting on top. Now moving on to the exciting stuff. This is the charge controller that will bring the power from the particular solar panels on the roof. It will convert it into the right ampage needed to go into the batteries to charge those batteries. Being that it's 40 amp, it does run out a continuous flow of 40 amp if you are getting that supply from the sun at maximum and that will charge my batteries. So, let's get her cracked open. We have, ooh, some energy stickers. Might have to go on the van at some point. Um, we also have the manuals here. So this one is for the charger itself. And then in this box as well, we have the Bluetooth connection. It comes with a Bluetooth connector. So what this does, it connects to the charge controller. And the really great thing about this is I will not have to use a separate screen display. All I have to do is connect this up and I download the app off of Renergy on my iPhone and I'll be able to check all the great data that is coming into the charger, that is going out of the charger and into the batteries and what my battery life is. So this is super important and I'm really glad that this was included in the kit. And here we go. So, getting into the charger itself. There you have it. The Rover 40 amp MPPT charger. So this is gonna be an absolute necessity for me on the road. I am gonna rely on solar power and solar power only to be able to charge my cameras, to be able to turn on the lights, to run my refrigerator, my water pumps. Um, so this is gonna be super handy. So as you can see, you have your PV, your battery, and your load connections here on the bottom of the unit. That unit looks really sturdy. It's a full metal base. I'm really happy with the way that looks. Very slick, blue and black, favorite colors, can't complain. 
And lucky last for the solar kit is our panels themselves. So I will open one of these panel boxes up just to give you a quick look. And there we have it. So this is extremely sturdy. I'm really happy with the way this looks. These are compact solar panels. So on the top of my van, I have a sprinter. It is a medium wheelbase, so there's plenty of room on the roof. But if you had possibly a smaller vehicle, these compact solar panels are really handy because I believe they're only about uh, 50 centimeters wide. And so putting three of these in a series is super doable on any size roof. Usually solar panels are way bigger than this table itself, but I'm really happy with these. They have an aluminium casing. Um, if I have a look on the bottom, here you can see we have the cabling and that will be able to link all the particular solar panels together. So super happy with that. Okay, so now that we're done with the 300 watt solar kit, we are gonna get started with some of the extra additions that I have had to purchase for this particular build. So to start with, uh, I believe I know what this is, but we'll check and see. And it is, so all this simply is, nothing too exciting. This is just housing for the top of the van. This is where the cables will run from the solar through here, through a hole in the top of the van, and that will just sit nice and flush and not let any water into the van. Next, I have this Blue Sea Systems fuse block. And this is super important because this is for my 12 volt system and all the particular appliances that will run off of it. So going straight from the battery, I will be able to plug in both the negative and the positive. So as you can see, you have the negative on the top of the unit and positive down the bottom. So the battery will connect here and here, and then you have your six slots for all your 12 volt appliances. And these are simply just blade fuses. So you'll be able to put in the right ampage fuse for every appliance that you plug in. These are all the positive terminals, and then the negative bus bar is up the top and it keeps everything nice and tidy um, rather than having to run inline fuses for everything I would rather spend the money and get one of these fuse blocks it is definitely worth it on to the exciting stuff so I have here a Renogy 2000 watt inverter so what this will do is this is going to convert our 12 volt power into 240 volts which is just your general household appliances so if I need to run any battery charger for my computer or my camera equipment. Uh, I'd be able to power a microwave, a blender, hair dryer, anything that needs additional power, I'll be able to run through this bad boy. So let's open her up. This is big. What have we got in here? Okay, so we have our power cord our switch that I'll be able to mount within the van so I can just switch the inverter on and off because you don't want this running 24 seven because it does have a continuous draw for your 12 volt batteries. The product manual, the battery cables, two sets of which is super handy and then the unit itself. So let's get it out. You can tell that this is really well built. So this particular unit will be able to charge anything extra that I need. Honestly, 2000 watts is above what I am expecting to use, but I wanted to build this system with enough power so I could upgrade in the future. I'm not gonna be housing many appliances um, within the van to begin with because I am on a budget, but if I need to put in a heater or a big water pump, Anything that I'll be continuously using, this will be able to charge it. On the back of the unit, you have your connections for your positive and your negative that'll run straight to the battery. As you'll be able to see in the wiring diagram, I'm running this straight to the battery. I'm creating a separate circuit than what I will for the 12 volt system. So as you can see on the front, you have two household plugs. Then you also have your on and off switch and you also have a plug that will connect to the on and off switch that I can house in the van anywhere I like. Lucky last, we have Renogy lithium ion batteries. So I actually have two of these. And before I unbox this, I just wanna talk a little bit about the batteries and the reason why I made the decision to go lithium ion. 
Originally, I was going to go with AGM deep cycle batteries until I learned that they only discharge to 50%, or you're only supposed to discharge them to 50%. So for example, if you have a 100 amp hour AGM battery, you can only discharge that 50 amp hours. With a lithium 100 amp battery, which this is, I can discharge to the full depth and not have any issues with the battery whatsoever in regards to longevity. Another great thing about the lithium ion is that they are super light. This only weighs 13 kilograms. Some of the AGM batteries that are 100 amp weigh upwards of 30, 35 kilos. Another big thing to look out for when purchasing a battery is looking at the C rating. Not a lot of people know about the C rating. A C rating is really what the battery can discharge at one particular time. So for example, if a battery had a 0.5 C rating, it would only be able to discharge 50% of its amp hours at once. Whereas in the Renergy batteries is a 1C rating, which means it uses its full capacity at all times. That is gonna come in super helpful when I am on the road and I might run into some cloudy days outside and some rain as it is right now. And these batteries will be able to use their full ampage all the way down to 0%, not harm the battery whatsoever, and they have a lot quicker charge rate as well. So let's crack into it. And there it is. It is a pretty basic looking battery, but it does have a really good hard casing. It has its terminals up the top, as you can see, negative and positive. One really cool thing about these batteries, it has a link up system. The battery comes with a cable, and what you do is you simply link this up to the up. On that button, you should be able to see a small blue light. If you hold that button, that is going to activate this battery. So at the moment it is in shelf mode, so I can see just a small blue light. If I hold that button and release, the button has gone a very bright blue. So now I know that that battery is active. And if I want to send that back into storage mode, if I'm not going to use these batteries for an extended period of time, I just hold that button one more time for three seconds and it's gone back into storage mode. So I'm going to keep it there because I have not built my system yet. But that is a super cool thing about these Renergy batteries. I can't wait to get these installed. Please stay tuned for my next video. I've gotten the cleaning, rust proofing and installation done already on the van. So please stay tuned. Once again, my name is Reese from Try It Out Adventures. And thank you so much for watching this unboxing. Stay safe.